for you to sit up there and teach them the type of stuff I'm trying to keep them away from. I told you it would happen. I told you. I told you somebody can't go get mad. You need to be teaching history. 33, please. No, you need to be teaching history. Shut up. No, I'm not getting out of nowhere. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin, let me start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach in the course where I learn this truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Zalik, the house of David. <clears throat> all right, finna get into this uh, morning lesson right quick, y'all. Lord willing to be edifying. All right, uh, you know, uh, the drums are beating, all right, you know, um, it's been a lot of videos, of course, and I already went out, so, you know, me trying to do my part, you know, I'm going to throw my log in the fire, so to speak, all right, and it's going to be dealing with um this 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 shit you're seeing that's going down over there in the land of Israel, all right, as far as um the Hamas and uh, Israelis and whatnot, all right, um, you know, uh, Scripture speak about, you know, those two nations, which those two nations ain't supposed to be in that land anyway, but they're going to fight in the end days, all right? You know what I'm saying? Um, the Arab nations, all right, and uh, the Amalek, all right, the the so-called Ishmael, all right, the, the Israelis, all right, the Amalekites, all right, and they're both going, you know what I'm saying, e eventually get burned out of that land because the Lord going to burn that place up too, all right, and he's going to put his people <clears throat> which would be the Israelites, the real Israelites, not Israelis, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, through the seed of their fathers in that land, all right, you know, Yahweh Shema Shah is going to establish it, all right, they, those people went into that land on a lie, and they're going to be uh, uprooted out of that land, all right, and the Lord is using the nations, all right, to come against you Edomites, all right, primarily you uh, Israeli Edomites, all right, you Amalekites, all right, and you American Edomites, all right, because you're the you're the two primary wicked entities on this earth, all right, that's ruling this earth, all right? So this is Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 45. It says, Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, that he had taken against Babylon. And this is talking about the Babylon of today, mystery Babylon, all right? Babylon the Great, all right, which is America. And his purposes that he had pro uh, proposed against the land of the Chaldeans, all right, uh, Esau, you know, that's him, he and that's there today, all right. It says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. That's talking about the Amalekites. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them, all right, because you heard what creepy, sleepy Antiochus Biden had to say, all right. He was, uh, he came out and said, uh, the American people side with the, I mean, the American, what did he say? He said something like that, the American on, the Americans are going to back the Israelis, all right? That's pretty much what he said, all right? Because America, you know, is uh, Israel's, you know. They do her bidding, all right? Just let me keep it in balance, all right? Keep the video up. They do her bidding, all right? One second, y'all. All right, so in this clip that you see right here on the screen, all right, um, you know, uh, this is part of that invasion, all right, that they did on these Israelis. And um, as you can see, they captured up some of their women. All right, you know what I'm saying? And they screaming that, you know, that uh, Allah Akbar shit, you know? These, these some, some wild-ass times to be living in, all right? But, yeah, you clearly see, you know, where they be, you know, uh, you know, uh, a ploy or whatever, all right? He he got this, he got this, this woman snatched up, all right? And the scriptures speak about, you know, uh, in the days of trouble, how these women are going to be, you know what I'm saying, um, subjected to this type of shit, all right? They're going to be spoils, all right? And this is what, that this is playing itself out, all right? You know, this woman has become a, a captured woman. She's a spoil of war now, all right? You know, and uh, I read an article. Let me see, it popped up a while ago, talking about how um, they, they jacked up enough of them people to, they, uh, 
they kidnap enough of them them is them them Israelis to uh basically border for the release of another one of their people. All right, how how true it be or not, you know. But these are the days we're coming into, all right, you know, and it ain't going to go back to normal, all right? Once it goes left, it can't go back right, all right? It, it has to continue to go down this path until you how about some hour shot comes back to set it right, all right? Play a little bit of that play. Right, one second. And then it says right here, in the meantime, let's see what's going on over here in America, all right? In Babylon the Great. This is why you Edomite's kingdom is falling, all right? Because you represent just just blatant wickedness, all right? You know what I'm saying? This is what's going on in America, all right? In the schools of America, all right? And this video is probably a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so old. But this is what they got going on, all right? They got the pride flag put up over the United States, all right? And the scriptures tell you pride go before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. And that's what America embodies, a, a prideful, homosexual spirit at that. All right, and the Lord coming back to judge his place. All right, the same way, you know what I'm saying, um, that shit going down over there in Israel, it's going to be like that over here in the States, all right? You know, it's going to be seditions of men, all right? America's going to be turned into a war zone, all right, amongst the Babylonian citizens, all right? Isaiah 19 speaks about how you how about Shemel is going to set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, all right? And everyone shall fight one against another, all right? And, um... You know, <clears throat> the, the lines in the sand have, have already been drawn, so to speak. And now it's just time for, you know, Yahweh Shema was shot to stir up jealousy like a madman. All right, stir, stir that pipe. All right, get you people at each other's throat even more. All right, you know what I'm saying? Choose you people's delusions, all right? You know, look at this. Look at these these two women, how they faced off, all right? You know what I'm saying? And then the times we're coming into, this is going to lead, this is going to be a, a fight to the death. All right, you Amer you American citizens, it's gonna be a fight to the death. All right, if you ain't for what they're for, they're gonna kill you, and if they ain't for what you're for, you're gonna want to kill them. All right, it's a time like never was since it was a nation. All right, we're entering into. All right, so it's beautiful to see. All right, you know the least of the flock. All right, drawing drawing these uh Americans out. All right, cause soon the American military is gonna be gone off the fight. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said He's gonna remove the northern the North military. All right, you know he and Esau done already had his Trojan horse event. You know what I'm saying through the uh, immigration and whatnot. He already got his his soldiers and shit, his universal soldiers over here. All right, ready to fuck you American people up. All right, so we just we just trending toward a time of of, uh, of great judgment. All right, and it's and it's almost winter too. All right, Abaratazai, you how about some shot willing? All right, this shit takes off this winter, all right? You know what I'm saying? I, I can't wait to see these people over here, all right, spoil and destroy each other, all right? Can't wait to see it, all right, Lord willing. You know, I'm going to elect, all right, and I do get to see it. But those, those are the days in which we, we, we've we been waiting and clamoring to see, all right, you know? you know? We ain't just put in all this work and all this time, all right, just to... uh. For, for nothing, all right. We want to see this motherfucker go up with a with a bang, all right. Go out with a with a, you know what I'm saying. Go out, go out with a bang, all right. She says she's teaching her son to be a man, all right? And that's why 
you know, uh, a lot of you women over here gonna catch it all right now. She's she's she, she's trying her best. All right, I give her that much. She don't want her son to be a mo. All right, that that says a lot about her. All right, because a lot of these women over here, they 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 wouldn't give a shit if their sons was momos and shit. All right, you know what I'm saying? They actually raised these little effeminate niggas and they turn into them punks and shit and they still fuck with them. But she says she don't want her son to be that way. All right, but. In order to be a true man, you got to fear your how about some all shot, right? You know, that those are the true real men on this earth, all right? And I highly doubt she's teaching her son that. You know what I'm saying? So that's that division, all right, you know? Again, the Lord coming back to break this place up, and it's already begun, all right? That's that Luke 12 and uh, 49, all right? Let me tell you, um, think not the Lord came to bring peace on the earth. Tell you, neighbor, rather division, all right? And these people are divided, all right? You American citizens are divided. The only people who, who are on the same accord, all right, is the elect of Israel, all right, the house of David. All right, they're on the same accord, same page, same beat, same tune. All right, all of that, you know. We pipe, you know what I'm saying, the elect is piping on with this song, but who can dance to it? Only those, you know what I'm saying, of the elect, all right? If you ain't of the elect, you can't dance to this tune. You can't dance to this beat, all right? You're going to dance to this the beat of this world, all right? And the scriptures tell you that's wickedness, all right? The wisdom of this world is earthly, sensual, and devilish, all right? And the, and the devil that the Bible speaks of, the so-called white man, is the one that's pushing it, all right? And, and this is the end of his kingdom, all right? He's ruled his kingdom off of wickedness, all right, and deception and deceitfulness. And now he's at the end of his uh, his reign on this earth, all right? And that's why you see the Israelis, all right, you know what I'm saying, catching hell the way they're catching it. And you're seeing these American Edomites catch it the way that they're catching it, all right? Because you're at the end of his kingdom. He's at the end of his kingdom, all right? You know what I mean? And then you got this clip, all right? You know what I'm saying? This woman here, all right, at the house alone. Look at her dogs, all right? Look at her dogs. They ain't, they, their tail is wagging, all right? They ain't trying to attack that dude, all right? You know what I mean? These are the days. Hang one second. In which we're coming into, all right, where you women, all right, are going to be in these predicaments, all right? You're going to be faced with this exact situation, all right? Because a lot of you women have ran that man out of the house. A lot of you women are, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, proud, arrogant, dis disdainful, you know what I'm saying, haughty, all right? Haughty, haughty, all right, you know? And now it's time for you to receive the recompense of your heir, all right? You finna get judged for that, all right? And it ain't, hey, and listen, it ain't just, uh, it ain't trouble just for Jacob. It's trouble for all you fucking... Wicked ass people over here in Babylon the Great. All right, Jacob is gonna be in it, but you, but you, uh, you, you other nations, you don't get a pass neither. All right, this is Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes thirty six, and verse twenty five. We're gonna start at verse twenty four, but the point is in twenty five. One second. All right, uh, verse twenty four. It say, "He that get it a wife, but get it a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest." All right, and the way you get a wife is through sex. All right, not not the way this world tells you. You know what I'm saying? You get on your knees and you know what I'm saying. Ask one of these bitches to be your wife. Man, get the fuck out of here. All right, if she ain't a virgin, technically she ain't your wife. But that's another lesson for another day. We ain't we ain't dealing with all of that. This is the point right here in verse 25. It say where no hedge is, the hedge represents the man. All right, that represents the he that get the possession. So that's the husband. Where no hedge is, there the possession. We just read, he that get it a wife, but get it a possession. So the wife is the possession. So where no man is, the possession, being the woman, is spoiled. All right, and what happened to this woman, all right? You know what I'm saying? This dude just forced himself up in that shit, all right? Let me show it to you again. All shit. There you go.
All right, then he told her to get down on her knees, all right? And that's what these men going to tell a lot of you women, all right? And that day when this shit go down like that, a lot of you women going to be taking this this same uh approach. You're going to be getting down on your knees, all right? You know what I'm saying? And getting ready to receive what you going to receive, all right? Because the scriptures speak about, all right, how these women going to get ravished out here, all right? And just because a woman is a spoiler of war. I'll be through in a few minutes. I'll be through in a minute. Scripture speak about how these women are gonna be uh spoils of war. All right, y'all forgive me if y'all hear that. I got my my son down here. All right, y'all know how children are. When we do videos, it's like that's when they come out. All right, don't get in that road. All right, this is Isaiah thirteen and sixteen. It says their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled. And their wives ravished, all right, you know what I'm saying, seized and taken by force, all right, and the days we're coming into when these men come up in these households, they ain't just coming up in here to, all right, put you women uh, on your knees, they're going to take you women, all right, you women going to get took and boarded off like we seen in the first clip, all right, when they, when them, when them, uh, them niggas was screaming out loud, Akbar and shit, and they packed their bitch up in that, in that jeep, this was going to be going down over here in America, they're going to be packing you women up like sardines and shit. All right, you know what I'm saying? Bordering you off, using and abusing you, all right? Those days are coming, all right? You know, the same thing that went down over there is going to be taking place over here, but even at a greater clip, all right? Because America's judgment, all right, it's, uh, it's going to be like no judgment ever known to mankind, all right? This place is going to take a, a judgment that's, that's worse than any judgment ever been laid down, all right? So... You know, when you see these little clips and, you know, saying different shit, it's just to put, in, put it in your mind, all right, to just a, a small glimpse and inkling of what it's going to be like, all right, because, man, we can't even speak speak it up, all right, uh, to the gravity that it's really going to be, all right, it's going to be so bad, you know, even us hopeful men of the Lord are going to be like, shit, god damn, all right, but we ain't going to ask you how about me, I would just try to stop. Hell no, we're going to ask y'all about some hours shy to keep us safe and, you know what I'm saying, keep doing that work, all right? So, um, you know, this is just a quick little morning lesson, all right? Nothing too deep. Just wanted to read a couple of scriptures, all right? And uh, speak about, you know, the um the things that's going on in the world today, all right? The big elders and, the, and the, you know what I'm saying, the brothers, they already then pretty much, all right, laid out everything that needs to be, been, be said, all right? Anything I would say. We'll just really be repeating what they said, all right? So this is just my attempt, you know, at, uh, again, throwing my log in the fire, all right, and saying my little two cents on the whole ordeal. Lord willing, it was edifying, though. I'll honor glory and praise. Go to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, teaching the course where I learn this truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's elect, the house of David. Call me Asherala, and why Baba Ball. Shalom, Amakim.